All right, here's my reaction the first time seeing it. <gasps> Damn, boy, check this thing out. Oh, oh my God. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel for another video. And in today's video, we're gonna go over and we're gonna do the reveal of the Apollo RFZ. This is the last time you guys are gonna see the RFZ looking like this. So let's go ahead, we'll take one last good look at it and let's just get right into making this thing looking fresh. So here you guys go. So as you guys can see, that is our 2020 Apollo RFZ with the 150cc swap in it. That is the graphics that come stock on the bike. And today, thanks you to our friends over at Calair GFX. They sent us out a complete custom kit for our bike. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna peel off those decals that you guys just saw. And we got a whole new set of custom graphics to throw on this bike and this bike's gonna look sick as hell. So let's just jump right into it and we'll go ahead and we'll start peeling these suckers off. And we'll lay out these new graphics and we'll go ahead and we'll take a peek at it. But once again, I wanna say thank you to Calair GFX. They went over and sent us out this custom graphics kit. If you guys are interested in any graphics kits for any of your dirt bikes down in the description box below you guys can find a link to their store and they sell all sorts of different custom graphics kits they can go ahead and put your name on it they can put custom numbers on it they go and put custom pretty much anything you want on the graphics make them any color you like so they can make them exactly how you want so if you guys want you guys can go ahead check out the description down below you guys can send them a message and tell them that I sent you and they can go ahead and hook you up maybe with a discount or something and I uh, hope you guys enjoy your graphics because these graphics they sent me are absolutely dope and I'm beyond pumped on them so let's go ahead and let's just take a peek at them first. So here we have our custom graphics from Calair GFX. This is an entire decal kit for the Apollo RFZ. And uh, you guys can go ahead and check out their stuff down in the description. They make it in different thicknesses and a bunch of stuff. So you guys should definitely check that out because their product is super awesome and I'm super stoked to go ahead and throw this stuff on. Let's go ahead and get to her. So before we get into this, I just want to say Happy New Year and I uh, hope everyone's having an uh, awesome vacation time off from work right now. Enjoying the new year. Happy 2021, everyone. And I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers who are checking out the channel and welcome you all to the channel. For those of you who don't know, just to get you up to speed, this is my 2020 Apollo RFZ. It was originally 120. 5cc. I have 150cc swapped. If you guys want to check out, there's an entire video playlist on that. We got a bunch of off-roading content with it and a bunch of how-tos and stuff on learning how to ride your dirt bike, how to buy dirt bikes. All that will be up in the corner. So to start, we're going to go ahead and I guess we're just going to grab a corner of these graphics and I guess they're going bye-bye. I guess this is the end of the, uh, the classic RFZ graphics. So And there it's torn. It kind of hurts my heart a little bit. She sure looks naked. So we'll come over to the tail section. And I guess same thing, we're just gonna grab a corner. Wow, that bike looks weird without the graphics. It's so much like brighter of a red. It's got this little section here in the gas tank. So to get this glue up, I'm probably just gonna end up going over it with some really hot water. And finally get to get rid of this number five, because I am most definitely not a number five kind of guy. Well, she's looking pretty gosh darn naked. It's one Apollo RFC looks like with nothing on it when it's uh, graphicless. Mine is our fork tubes. So you just gotta take those ones off, but that thing is pretty naked looking. So I'm gonna go over, I'm just gonna go on and put the graphics kit all on the bike, get it fully decked out, get it minty. And then uh, I guess we're gonna showcase it in a little mini edit. So I'll see you guys when that's done. Once again, if you guys wanna purchase one of these graphics kits or you wanna check them out, links in the description down below. Now we gotta go ahead and we gotta go over and prep all the surface before you can lay any sort of decals down or it's just gonna peel all 
right back up. So I'm gonna start, we're gonna go over the bike and start hitting it with some hot soapy water, clean down all the plastics. Then you're gonna go over it with some rubbing alcohol, rub it down with some rubbing alcohol, rub it down, make sure that thing is nice and bone dry after that. Then you're gonna go over and apply some more soapy water and apply the graphics wet. And that'll let you be able to slide the graphics around on top of the plastics and set them where you want. And then when the water dries up behind it, your graphic will be set and stuck in place. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do that. We're gonna change the entire look of this bike. So it's gonna be super cool. All right guys, and it, just like that, it is the next day and I have got the graphics half on the dirt bike. We're gonna go ahead and show you half of the installation process on them. And then we'll go ahead and we'll hop into that showcase. So let's jump into showing you guys how to do this. So here we have our next section of graphic that we're gonna go ahead and put on. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that out just like this. And now our graphic should be a whole lot easier to work with. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna spray some soapy water and we're gonna be liberal with this stuff and you really wanna just absolutely get it soaked. You cannot put too much water when we go to do this. On the panel, we're gonna put some soapy water on the back of the sticker. So I've peeled off half the backing and left part of the sticker exposed so that we can only, so we can put on part of the sticker at one time. And all I'm doing is rubbing it over and you're just pushing out the water that's underneath it. Try and lay it out flat. You guys can see here I'm multiply hitting it with the water multiple times and peeling it back up and it's not destroying the adhesive at all. That's why you want to keep the sticker and the plastic nice and wet. And then once we've got it most of the way on, we're going to grab our little homemade squeegee. And don't worry too much if it's not completely sticking because we do have a heat gun that you're going to go over this with and that'll help activate the glue. So the edges will stick a bit better. And of course you need to get all the water out from below it. Okay, once we've got it mostly applied and on there, we're gonna go over it and now we're gonna hit this with a heater. Boom. And just like that, we've got the decal applied there. So let's go ahead, put our last switch on like so. All right, just like that, it's on. So let's go ahead, let's roll this outside and let's go take a peek at it, boys. All right, here we are. I haven't looked at it fully, but let's go ahead. I'm gonna take a step back. I haven't looked at it. Let's not look at the dirt bike. All right, here's my reaction the first time seeing it. Damn, boy, check this thing out. Oh, oh my God, it looks so freaking good. Hell yeah, man, I'm so pumped. I gotta say massive, massive thank you to Caller Graphics for sending me out this graphics kit. It looks absolutely bomb, super pumped on it. The bike looks so sick, one-off, like special Apollo. It looks so dope, man, with the 150cc swap, the big tires, and now the custom graphics on it. Man, this thing looks absolutely killer. So without further ado, let's jump into our little showcase and show you guys the bike. I am so incredibly stoked on how this Apollo RFC came out. I think it's honestly probably one of the cleanest Apollo RFCs on YouTube. You guys let me know down in the comments section down below if you guys disagree or agree, but I think this is the cleanest Apollo RFC on YouTube by far. This thing's absolutely sick. Massive shout out. Huge thank you, huge, huge thank you to Calair GFX for sending us out this graphics kit. And thank you to all you guys for watching and making this possible and having them be able to send me out a kit to show you guys. So yeah, if you guys are interested in buying any of these kits for your dirt bikes, they make them for all sorts of dirt bikes, not only Apollo RFCs, but Suzuki's, 
Kawasaki's, you name it, they probably make it. And if you guys want something custom made up, they can do that too, custom colors, custom wording, all of that. But uh, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, if you guys wanna learn any more about the Apollo pit bike, how I did the 150cc swap or any of the upgrades I've done, I got a bunch of videos that'll be listed down in the description and in the corner up above. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one, taking the Apollo FC out on some trails. So peace out everybody.